One day a man was asked to paint a boat by an owner of boat. He bought with him paint and brushes and began to paint the boat a bright red as the owner asked him. While painting, he realized there was a hole in the hull and decided to repair it. When finished painting, he received his money and left. The next day, the owner of the boat came to the painter and presented him with a nice check, much higher than the payment for painting. The painter was surprised. You have already paid me for painting the boat, he said. But this is not for the paint job. It's for having repaired the hole in the boat. Ah, but it was such a small service. Certainly, it's not worth paying me such a high amount for something so insignificant. My dear friend, you do not understand. Let me tell you what happened. When I asked you to paint the boat, I forgot to mention about the hole. When the boat dried, my kids took the boat and went on a fishing trip. They did not know that there was a hole. I was not at the home at that time. When I returned and noticed they had taken the boat, I was desperate because I remembered that the boat had a hole. Imagine my relief and joy when I saw them returning from fishing. Then I examined the boat and found that you have repaired that hole. You see now what you did. You saved the life of my children. I do not have enough money to pay your small good deed. Moral of the story. No matter who, when or how, just continue to help, sustain, wipe tears, listen attentively and carefully repair all the leaks you find because you never know when one is in need of us or when God holds a pleasant surprise for us to be helpful and important to someone.